to the Fadini Family YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. It's the button right beneath this video. And turn on your post notification bell to be notified whenever we post any new video. For our returning subscribers, thank you so much for the love. We have seen so much growth in our previous videos. And for the premier game, you know yourselves. This one here is for you. And on today's video, I will be walking you through our monthly shopping. This month, things are a little bit different for us. It's not about brand shopping, but it's about the prices of the commodities that we require. So let me walk you through what we got ourselves 10 days into the elections, depending with when you will watch this video. Our toiletries list, I will start us off with our machine detergent. This is our machine wash detergent. This is TOS. It is 1.5 kilograms and it was the most affordable brand in the market. Next on the list, I bought us our hand wash detergent. This is Sunlight and it came as a twin pack. Then I got us a Pride. This is a multi-purpose liquid detergent, but I normally use it in the kitchen to clean our dishes, cutleries, and utensils. And then I got us, a, this is lotion. I bought a Zoe. Like I said, it's not about the brand. Normally I would use Nivea, but now I'm having to use uh, the Zoe brand. Then I got us some Vaseline. Then I got us some wood polish. This is for our wooden uh, furniture in the house. Next, I got Begon. This is an insecticide. I also got us some uh, freshener. I have uh, the Tropicare and the Glade brand. Then for toothpaste, I got us Pepsodent. As you can see, this is a value pack and the price was quite affordable as compared to the other brands. I also got us some bleacher. This is Odex. This one I have used before and it's normally the most affordable in the market and has done us some justice previously. And then for our toilets, uh, we normally use the Attila brand and as you can see, this also came as a twin pack and is also very affordable. Uh, we got ourselves some masks. Uh, we have them in blue and black. As you know, we are still not out of the woods yet. Even as COVID uh, numbers come down, we still have the common cold that is uh, becoming quite a scare within the, the country. Then I got us some uh, hand wash uh, holder. This I'll be using it in the kitchen. Then I got us, uh, this is Geisha, this is bathing soap. And this is a value pack also you get uh, to buy two and you get uh, one piece of soap free then i'm also trying the gaya brand this is a new brand in the market and i want to see how it will serve us the price was also affordable and as you can see you buy three pieces of soap and get one free then i got uh, some hand wash and then I got us some shampoo. Ladies who are watching this video, I think it's about time that we start shampooing our hair in the house or carrying our own shampoo in the salon. Uh, with the rising of uh, things in the economy, you're not sure what kind of shampoo is being used on your hair. So it's advisable to buy what is already processed and uh, certified in the supermarkets. Then I got us some uh, sanitary the Cortex brand and I bought us three of them. This should uh, last us through the month. Then I got us some glycerin. This is good when you add on to your lotion just to prevent uh, dryness. Then I got us some uh, serviettes. This we use uh, probably on our tables. Then I got us tissue paper. This is the Toilex brand. And uh, just a point to note, tissue has also a uh, reason in price. Normally, tissue would go for about 250 to 350 for the most expensive brand. 
but lately the cheapest brand is going for 500 shillings so i bought us a 10 pack a, a five of them if you've watched until this far i hope you've remembered to like you remember to also share and subscribe so next on the haul is our food stuff list and i'll start us off with our cooking oil we got us the rinsan brand this is five liters of cooking oil and should last us for quite some time then i got us some santa lucia macaroni and uh, i also bought some mozzarella we shall be making some mac and cheese very soon so be sure to look out for that recipe i bought us some salt this is uh, two kilograms of salt then i have sugar this is two kilograms of sugar we are not uh, heavy consumers of sugar as only our children take uh, sugar then i got the sunrise basmati uh, rice this is five kilograms next on our food stuff is uh, wheat flour i got us the dollar brand i normally would buy a jar but i realized the dollar brand was five shillings less than the ajar brand remember this haul guys i said earlier is about the prices of commodities and not about the brand then um, i got some spices this one i was chopping up our spices so i got some tea masala i got some pilau masala for our pilau i got some curry powder in uh, this brand this is zanzibar spices I also got uh, a curry powder from the Zimbabwe. This is a very old brand for those of us in Kenya. Then I also got black pepper. Then I got some coconut cooking cream. I normally use the Kara brand, which is uh, also very cost effective. Then I got us some vanilla yogurt. We have it in uh, the Brookside brand. I have vanilla and I also have the strawberry flavors. Then I got some Royco. I realized, by the way, instead of buying Royco in the containers, it's a lot cheaper when you buy it in these uh, packets, then you drain it off in the containers. So you'd realize that uh, uh, for these 200 grams, when you buy it in the sachet, it's cheaper than when you buy it in its container. So that's something, guys, you might want to consider. Normally, just buy it in this, then drain it off into the container. Then I got us some beef cubes. Then for our bread, I got us some blue buns and peanut butter. I also got us some powdered milk. Uh, there's one of us who likes uh, powdered milk. Then I got uh, some oats. I'm a big uh, lover of oats in the morning, so I normally have uh, this for my breakfast. Then I got us some garam flour. Guys, if you've not watched our videos on bajias, uh, be sure to look it out. This is one of the secret ingredients in making very, very uh, sweet bajias at home. Um, next, I bought us some uh, biscuits. Uh, like I had said earlier, it's 10 days to the elections in Kenya and schools will be closing. So these are some of the snacks our children will be enjoying during their holidays. Then I got myself some grapes. I normally will have my oats and grapes in the morning. Uh, we have a video on how to prepare breakfast oats. So be sure to look out for it in our channel. Then I have some juice. This is a go fruit juice. Uh, this is for our children. Uh, we alternate this with tea or juice as their break time snack when they are going to school. I have some cooking cream. I also got some mala. And uh, I also got us some dried wheat. I want to try out a recipe on cooking wheat. So be sure to look, uh, look out for that uh, recipe on our channel. Then I got some white button mushroom. I have made a recipe on uh, mushroom soup. So be sure to look out for it on our channel. And then here I have an assortment of milk. Um, 
we have some of us in our family who are lactose intolerant so we have uh, lactose free milk and we have uh, some home milk and more of uh, lactose free milk for our school going our children and next uh, we got some uh, chicken this is broiler chicken it was also on offer at the supermarket guys if you're going to the supermarket uh, check out Kafo. they have some end of the month sales for various items and lastly on our food list we have some uh, chicken feet guys be sure to look out for this recipe i'm sure you will love it so and until our next video guys be sure to like comment share 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 this video to as many many people as you possibly can thank you for the love remain blessed and goodbye